Welcome to online learning prepared by foreign teachers in Patum Soksa 6, Anuban Chunburi School. This video recording is for educational purposes only. Good afternoon, kids. I hope you're all okay. And I hope that all of you are full and you guys are done eating your lunch. Let's uh, take a look at what we've studied last time. So as you can see here, last time we studied about fossils, right? And I think we played Kahoot as well. Did we play Kahoot last time? Last Monday? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Who's the winner? Who's the winner? In the, oh, it's not Kahoot, it's the quizzes, right? Quizzes. Who's the winner? Who's the champion in our quizzes last time? You can't remember anymore? Was it you, Nataya? Or who? Who was the, the winner? Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Nataya. And I think Jirayu is part of the top five as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, the last time, last Monday, we study what are fossils, what do fossils tell us, what is the importance of fossils, and we identify also five types of fossils. What are those five types of fossils again? Mold, cast, petrified fossil, trace fossil, and what's the other one? Oh, you forgot uh, already the, uh, the fossils that we studied last time. And, okay. It, it, give me a minute. Okay. Oh, the last one is the carbon films, right? Carbon films. That's the, when, you, when there is like a very thin uh, carbon film that will cover the rock from the remains of an animal or plant. So those are the five types of fossils. Now, uh, here are the vocabulary words that we study as well. Uh, mold, cast, carbon films, evidence, amber, paleontologist, fossil record, and structure. Now for our lesson uh, today, we will be discussing about, uh, it's like, a uh, it's all about rocks, but we are going to make it in the, what is this? This will be our last topic, all about rocks and minerals. So it's like a, a culmination of all the lessons that we've learned for today. Now, at this point in time, I will, uh, wait. I will let, you copy this one i will put it in the chat box no and then i want you to click i want you to click and it is a it is a game that you are going to play on your own okay so it is a game that you're going to play on your own and uh, i will be requesting maybe uh jirayu uh, i will make jirayu a uh, co-host and uh, Jirayu will be able to show his screen to us. Where, where is Jirayu? Where is Jirayu? Oh, okay, there, Jirayu. Okay, Oops. I will make you a co-host and uh, I want you to share your screen, Jirayu. Can you share your screen now? Click the link first. Okay, click the link there. Okay, now we can see the the screen of Jirayu. Now I want you to play the level one Jirayu. Uh, there are pictures that uh, you can see on the left and put it on the uh, on the pictures or the corresponding words on the other side. Okay, go Jirayu. Other students, you can do it on your own as well. I send you the link. Uh, let's start, Jirayu, with the one. Uh, let's start here on top. The one on top. There is like there is a yeah. There is a grass and a rock that should be there on top. Okay, there. Put it there. Mm, very good. What about the next one? Weathering. 
Okay, very good. And next to the weathering, the erosion. Is that erosion? Okay. Okay, then what is deposition? Okay, deposition. What about compaction and cementation? Where is the compaction and cementation? There, very good. It's a sedimentary rock. Now, metamorphism. What is uh, the picture of metamorphism there? Okay, yeah, that's correct. Very good. What about melting? Okay, there, it will become a lava and there will be uh, intrusive and extrusive rocks there. And, okay, well done. Clap your hands, everybody, for Jirayu, yay. Jirayu, you get this correct. Can you stop uh, sharing Jirayu? Can you stop sharing the screen? Uh, I want to ask uh, Don Raporn, uh, can you share your screen? Uh, wait, okay. Can you share your screen and click level two? Those people who are done with level one, you can go to the next level and you can play the level two as what Don Raporn will do now. Go, Don Raporn, can you share your screen to us? Requesting all the students to uh, play it. If you want to play it with yourselves, I send you the link in the chat. Okay, don't report. Do you know how to share the screen? What about Chuntida? Please turn on your microphone so that I will know if uh, you can share the screen. Don Rapon, do you have? Okay, good, good. Don Rapon now is sharing the screen. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, just finish everything, yeah? Go, Don Rapon, and let's proceed with level two. If you can finish that. Go, 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 Don Rapon, answer everything. Click the, oh, something wrong. Something wrong. What about Chuntida? Do you want to share Chuntida? Chuntida? Uh, wait, I will make you... Uh, yeah. You can share now Chuntida. You can share. Do you know how to share screen Chuntida? You're using a laptop, right? Click the link, and then uh, when you are in the in the website, okay, good. Okay, uh, go to. Oh, okay. So you put all the words already. Go. Uh, what about the deposition, Chuntira? Uh, the words you need to put the words, the correct words in the corresponding picture. Okay. So. We have weathering. Where is the picture of weathering? You drag the chuntida. Yeah, you drag the word chuntida. The words on the left. Yeah, there. That's that's the words. Okay, drag it. Drag and put it to the corresponding there. Where is extrusion? If put the extrusion on the round rock. Round rock. There. No, 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 no. After the melting, after melting, you put the extrusion there. Ah, good. Again, again. Do it again. Oops. Okay, good. What about the rest? Can you make your screen chuntida a little bit bigger? So that we can make it. Okay, good, good. All right, good, good. That's perfect. Okay, what about metamorphism? Where is the metamorphism there? Metamorphism is uh, below the... Go. Where is the metamorphism? There. Oops. Again, again. Okay, good. Perfect. Correct. What about the deposition? Deposition should be there in the before the sedimentary rock before okay oops 
Teacher, I cannot drag the picture. Ah, maybe you are using a phone, maybe? Are you using a phone para mi? Mm, yes. Oh, I see. I think it doesn't work with the phone because, yeah. But I haven't tried it in my phone. Okay. Uh, well, if you haven't tried it, you can open your laptop next time or you can play it or you can watch uh, Chuntida. Okay, thank you, Chuntida. Can you uh, remove the screen, screen uh, sharing now? Thank you. Very good, very good. Okay. So, okay. Please remove now uh, the screen sharing Chuntira. Okay, so good job everybody. And I hope uh, you enjoy that uh, little game that we had. Okay, that is just a warm up, okay. Did you guys enjoy or some people like Parami didn't enjoy because they cannot drag the picture? Okay, well, we already answered all of this. Uh, with the help of Jirayu and Chuntira. So let's now proceed here to our vocabulary words. Okay, vocabulary words. I want you this time to turn on your microphone and say the words with me. Number one. Can you read it with me? Concept map. Concept map. Okay, I can hear only two students. Where are the others? Okay. Let's read again. Concept map. Concept map. Okay, very good. Number two, a rock. Rock. Minerals. Minerals. Rock cycle. Rock cycle. Uses of rocks. Uses of Uses rocks. Of rock. Fossils. 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 Magma. 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 Types of rocks. Type Type of rock. of rocks. Types of rocks. Very good. Thank you, boys and girls. You can turn off your microphone now. Okay, so let's start with the first word here. Can you see the concept map right here? A concept map is a visual representation of information. They can take the form of charts, graphic organizers, tables, flow charts, Venn diagrams, timelines, or T-charts. So the one that I'm showing you here, I want you to take a look at it very, very, very carefully. This is uh, the three types of rocks. Can you see it? Three types of rocks. Rock can be igneous. Rock can be sedimentary. Rock can be metamorphic. Okay. And uh, rocks that melts become a magma and it becomes an igneous rock. Okay. And uh, here we have here melting of any rock creates a magma. Okay. And we also have here ions dissolved in water. We have erosion. Litification, deposition, erosion, weathering, sediments, which will become a sedimentary rock. And we also have here the heat and pressure for the metamorphic rock. So please study this one because I will let you make a concept map like this later on. Okay. Uh, so rock, I think you know this one already. The solid mineral material forming part of the surface of the earth and other similar planets exposed on the surface or underlying the soil or oceans like basalt. Basalt is a rock, a type of rock that can be found in a planet similar to earth. Okay, so those are rocks. Minerals here are solid inorganic substance of natural occurrence. It means it is not man-made. Okay. And uh, next one here is a rock cycle. Okay, it's the, the concept used to explain how the three types of rocks are related and how, and how earth processes over geologic time change a rock from one type to another. We have different uses of rocks 
as well. Before, when we started our lesson about rocks, I asked you, what are the things that you think are made up of rocks? And you said the wall, the floor, and, uh, and all of that. Only those things that are very common, like the roads, the pavement. But right now, we understand that those are not the, uh, the limitations of the uses of rocks. We can use it in cosmetics. We can use it uh, to making bricks, tabletops, floor tiles, a roof, right? And uh, even plastic, petroleum also become a fuel and a lot of things, uh, pipes, uh, even in the toothpaste or in the chalk, what else? Jewelry, right? Those are the things that we use uh, every day. Uh, the next word here is fossils. One of the most interesting topic that we discuss is all about fossils. And I think in your Thai science, you study fossils still, right? Because there's a lot of things that we can learn when we study fossils. Fossils are preserved remains of plants and animals whose bodies were buried in uh, sediments. As of what I have told you, there are five types of fossils. Mold, uh, cast, petrified fossil, trace fossil, and uh, carbon film. So those are the five types of fossils that we can see on rocks. This one right here is a, is it a mold or a cast? This is a cast, right? This is a cast because a mold is a hollow and cast is a, like, there is something like a, a copy of the real thing. Okay, so the magma plays a very, very important role in the rock cycle because this magma is the one who create minerals or form minerals when it starts to cool down, okay? And we have the types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Okay, so I think you can say like, Teacher Edward, we finished all of that already. Yes, that is true. And uh, since this is a culmination of our topic, it means next week we will have our new topic, okay, that we are going to discuss. Now let's play this video. Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Today we're going on a field trip to learn everything about rocks. I'm sure you've seen thousands of them, but do you know how rocks are formed and what are their characteristics? Let's find out more about them. Rocks are composed from combinations of minerals that have formed naturally over time. On the basis of their origin, rocks can be classified as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are very hard rocks formed deep inside the earth. Examples of igneous rocks are granite or basalt. Both are formed from magma, which erupts as volcanic lava. As soon as it reaches the surface of the earth, Lava cools and solidifies rapidly. Sedimentary rocks are formed from pieces of other rocks or even once living organisms. Clay, for example, is formed by broken up pieces of other rocks. Coal and petroleum are formed from the remains of living things like animals and plants and from sediment deposits found in marine beds. Limestone is formed from substances dissolved in water. And lastly, metamorphic rocks that are formed by the transformation of other rocks under great pressure or heat. Like slate, for example, which is formed from clay or marble formed from limestone. Rocks can also be classified based on their hardness. That's why we say that there are hard rocks like granite, soft rocks like clay. Petroleum is also considered a rock. Since prehistoric times, 
People have used rocks for a number of things like making utensils, building their houses, paving, or even sculpting beautiful statues like this one. Nowadays, we use petroleum in different industries for making plastics or coal to generate electric power. Still to this day, rocks like slate, granite, or clay are used in construction. This slate roof, for example, this granite column, or a clay brick. What an adventure! Today, we learned that rocks are formed from minerals, or even animal and plant remains. And that based on their origin, we classify them as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Rocks are everywhere and play a major role in the world around us. We've learned so much. All right. So at this point in time, boys and girls, I think you now have a clear idea what are the things that we study from the beginning, the three types of rocks, about the minerals. Minerals are the one who will form a rock. And after that, there are the different processes. Like uh, last time we played a game that it talks about the five processes, weathering and erosion, heat and pressure, uh, melting, cooling, and uh, what's the other one? Compaction and cementation. A lot of things that we learn. We also study the uses of rocks, the rock cycle, about sedimentary rocks who have fossils. Now, at this point in time, I think Nataya know what the, you're going to do already. You are going to make a concept map in your notebook. So you have your notebook with you, right? So up to you if you can, if you will put your notebook like this, portrait, or you put your notebook like a uh, landscape, up to you. But I want you to make a concept map, okay? Now I will show you a, con a concept map that uh, you can have in your, in your science book. In your science book, you have a concept map there in page 111, okay? 111. Okay. Wait, where's the 111 here? Okay. So this is an example of a concept map. But there, page 111, you can see this. So this is an example of, of a concept map. But I want you to make your own concept map. You understand? You understand, Nataya, Chuntida, Don Rapon, Jinipa? Paradi, do you know what are you going to do? Jirayu, get your notebook and make a concept map. This one is not uh, full, right? This is not the full lessons that we study. Uh, we study a lot of things. So you can put there the processes like weathering and erosion, like the rock cycle. You can make the rock cycle. Uh, you can add more in the rock cycle. And in the igneous rock, you can connect it in the, see, there's a lot of things. You can put magma, heat and pressure, uh, sediments. Okay, so I will give you uh, 10 minutes. Is 10 minutes enough for you to finish this? Yes or no? No? Huh? Okay, so maybe, uh, what time is it? I will check. It is, yeah, it's still 1.24. So maybe, yeah, 16 minutes. At 1:40, I will, I will uh, give you, you know, I will give you enough time. Okay, so I will give you now uh, 16 minutes and get your notebook and you can start doing a concept map now. Okay, if you still have time after you finish, then you can color them, and I will. Uh, what is this? I will check it and I will be giving you scores after, which is not a big deal, right? Because, okay, I have the timer already running, 15 minutes. Please also, I'm requesting uh, all of you to 
kindly turn on your camera so that I'll be able to uh, to see you. Okay. All right. Do you want the sound? Maybe I will play a sound. Okay. You can add some drawings, like the uh, example of a sedimentary rock. You can draw something there, like a uh, granite. And for the metamorphic rock, you can make something like a marble or something like that, or a statue, so that it will symbolize a marble. Or the Great Pyramid of Egypt, made up of uh, sedimentary rock. Okay, up to you. Yeah, and while doing and uh, while you are doing that, I will probably check the attendance also, so that uh, we will not be wasting our time. Teach it. Are you here? Number 20. Number 25. So what pitch? Are you here? So what pitch is absent?
very pon uh, is very pon here okay One, two, two. teach it so a pitch a teach it is here teach it is here so the only absent are so a pitch and uh we rip on Okay, last eight minutes. I hope you're doing well there. Where the sound is, is scary now. What happened to the video? Oh. Wow, because of the scary, eh? my screen became dark. By the way, if you don't have your notebook, it's okay. If you don't have your notebook, you can have it in a piece of, on a piece of paper, like a for paper can. You can do it on a piece of paper. But I believe you all have your notebooks, right? When we very seldom use your notebook. Five minutes and 25 seconds.
Okay, you should be finished by now, right? Or maybe you are coloring your work already. Go, go, go. Last two minutes. Last one minute. You should have colored it by now. All right, time is up. Time is up. Now is the time for you to turn on your camera and uh, show me your work. Show me your work because I will be recording it. I will be giving you scores. So the highest score that I will give here might be, let me see, uh, maybe five. Yeah, five will be the highest. And uh, the lowest is one. If you don't have any work, then I'll give you zero. So let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, where is... Uh, remove your background first, everybody. Remove your background so that I will be able to see your, your work. Remove your background, everybody. Or maybe I will remove mine also so that uh, you will follow. So you remove the background, okay? And then show me your work. Show me your work. Come on, uh, Chuntida. Put it near near the camera, please. Ooh, clo closer. Okay, closer. Ooh, okay, so Chuntida, what is your number, Chuntida? You're the last number, right? Oh, 
Oh, what is your number, Chuntida? Number 19, right? 19. Okay, so Chuntida will give you five. Very good, Chuntida. What about, okay, Paradi? Oh, no, I'll give you uh, Chuntida four only because there is no color. What about Paradi? Okay, Paradi is 31. Is it finished already, Paradi? Yeah, it's yes, finished yeah. already. Okay, so still I'll give it four. So I will give another room, like number five will be like, if you have a growing, very colorful and all, so I will probably give you five. Because if I will give five, it doesn't mean that Faradi and Chuti that I don't like. I like them, I like their work, yet there might be one student who deserves the number five, right? So what about the other? So Pakrit, let me show you, oh, okay. Okay, it's very, very simple. I can't open camera. So turn up one. If you cannot open your camera, go to line and send it to me. No? Uh, okay, so Pakrit, uh, what is your number? Number seven. Can you show it again to me, so Pakrit? I think, uh, let me see. Okay, Parinia. Okay, so, okay. So I'll give you uh, four for that. Uh, no, three for that, so Pakrit and Parinia. Let me see yours, Parinia. Closer, please. I can see it. I can see. Okay. So that one I give four. What about Don Rapon? Yes, Don Rapon. Wow. Okay. Don Rapon is a very colorful. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I will give it, I don't know. Maybe, okay. I'll just give it 4.5. Okay. What about the others? Napichaya. Oh, Napichaya is very organized there. Eh? Yeah, so Napichaya number 30. Very good. Okay, I'll give it four. Thanks. Okay. Pirapong, do you have yours? Okay, Nataya. Closer, Nataya, please. I can't see it. No, oh, okay. Oh, there's a uh, very less, a uh, very little. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Nataya is number 24. Okay, I'll give it a uh, four as well. Uh, who else? Okay, we have here, uh, oops, is this a picture of, oh no. Okay, what about Putisan? Can I see yours, Putisan? Where's your work? Okay, Jinipa, let me see yours, Jinipa. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Jinipa. What about Piradich, Napichaya? Natchanan. Okay, Piradich is finished already. Okay. Why there's a lot of mistake, Piradich? I'll make it, I'll give you three only because there's a lot of, what is that? White ink or something. Napichaya, what about yours? Oh, oh yeah, Napichaya finished already. Natchanan. Shatawit. Shatawit. Remove your background, please, because I will not be able to see it. Nah, I can't see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. There. Okay, okay. Set up it. I give you four. Good job. What about the others? Uh, Panatat? Move, na move near the camera, please. Oh, it is a very, very simple, yeah? And Kimika also. So, number 15, I give you three and number three i will give you uh four okay those people who are cannot turn on the camera you can uh what is this send to me you can send to me okay tanakit number 18 let me see tanakit see it let me see it again tanakit okay a little bit far it's very near i can just enough, you know, just enough, not very far, not very near as well. Oh. Okay, okay. It's a four. Jirayu. So Jirayu there. Let me see Jirayu. Up, put it up a little bit Are you higher, Are you closer. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of things there. 
Okay, very good. What about the others? What about the others? No more? No more? Natawat, Natawat is number 13. Okay, go Natawat. Oh, I forgot my friend Natawat here. Yeah. Natawat, let me see. Oh, it's very simple Natawat, eh? Okay, thank you. Good job. You can lower your hand now. Any, any more? Can you raise your hand if you uh, want me to check your work? Thank you, I call her now. Okay, you call her, let me see. Let me see the color one. Oh, oh, okay, Chuntida. Okay, thank you, Chuntida. Okay, well, what is number of Chuntida? Chuntida. Hey, Pirapong, go. What is, let me see yours, Pirapong. Pirapong is, oh, okay, wow. A lot of things there, Pirapong, okay? I like it, I like it. I like it. And it's very organized as well. All right, so any more uh, besides, uh, okay, so if you will not turn on your camera, I will not be able to see it. So now let's continue to our uh, PowerPoint. Uh, the rest, I think they don't like to, uh, so I'll just give you a minimum score. So the lowest score, if you show me your answer, the lowest score that I gave you is three, but if you will not, turn on your camera and you will not show your work to me, then the score that I will give you is one. All right. And those who are absent will receive zero. Okay, here. Uh, I'm planning actually to make, a, oh yeah. I, yeah, before I will forget, before I will forget, I uh, had this, uh where is that i created a google form okay i uh, created a google form for you to answer and uh wait i will share the screen yeah here okay can you see that this is the science quiz i don't know if i will if i will open it maybe you will see the answer okay now okay so this is the, the uh, can you see it or is it very small? Okay, there. Okay, it's big already. So uh, there are things like you need to write your complete name and which class you belong, what is your roll number, and here these are the quiz, okay? So I will send this link to you uh, maybe on, uh, maybe today after our class, I will send it to you. But I don't want you to get zero. I don't want you to get zero, no? So that is why we are going to answer some of the questions here. You understand? We're going to answer or review the questions here. And then uh, you will. Uh, we're going to answer the, that one later on. Is that okay? Is that okay or not okay? You want to answer immediately in the Google form? Remember that Google form is I will record that one and that will be your score in the in the first term in your I mean your grade will be determined by the Google quiz that I that I will send you. All right. So let's start now. Which of the following is true? Rocks are made of only metals? Anybody can answer. Rocks are made of only non-metals? Rocks are formed from only cold lava? Or rocks are made of different minerals? What, which one is the correct answer? Nataya, what's your answer? D. D is the correct answer. Very good. Which of the following rocks is formed when lava cools down? Come on, anybody can answer. Just turn on your microphone. This is just a review. A. 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 Obsidian. Very good. Because the rest, sandstone is uh, sedimentary. Slate is uh, metamorphic and marble is metamorphic. Which of the following is a porous rock? Obsidian, basalt, pumice, or granite? Come on. 
Pamis, very good. Letter C. When rocks below the Earth's surface experience high temperature and pressure, they can become? Metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock, very good. Let's continue. Where is basalt likely to form? A, B, C, or D? Where is basalt likely to form? Any idea? I think we answered this one long time ago, right? What's your answer here? Chuntida. Hey, let me see. Chuntida, what's your answer? Where is basalt likely to form? It's not found in your book. It's not found in your book. It's found here in your brain. Okay. So what's your answer, Chantida? What is basalt? Intrusive or extrusive? Basalt is? Come on. Yeah, I will ask uh, Jirayu. Jirayu, what type of rock is a basalt? Intrusive or extrusive? Extrusive. Extrusive. So letter A is intrusive, B is intrusive, C is extrusive, and D is extrusive. So we have two options now. Letter C, it will form up in the air, or letter D, it will form uh, outside the volcano here. On the foot of the volcano. So what is your answer? This should be a no-brainer for you. It's very easy. The correct answer is? Don Rapon is? Yes, Don Rapon. It's okay if your answer is wrong. Come on. Hello, 6-1. D, yes. If you will answer very, very slow, we cannot cover all the questions that I prepared for you. See? And we are, we, are, we are running out of time. There are many questions that I prepared for you so that you will have a perfect score in our, in our uh, what is this? In our quiz online in the Google form. So let's do it quick. Which rock is Slate formed from? Shale. Shale, very good. The repeated heating and cooling of rock caused them to break into pieces. This is an example of erosion, biological weathering, chemical weathering, or physical weathering. What's your answer? Physical weathering. Physical weathering, correct? Which of the following is not a common use of a diamond? Floor tiles. Floor tiles? Okay. Tiles. Very good, floor tiles. Which of the following is false? Fossils tell us about the history of an environment. Fossils tell us the actual age of rocks. We can use fossils to compare the relative ages of rock. Or fossils tell us the type of plants and animals that existed in the past. Which one is false? B. B. Fossils tell us the actual age of the rock is correct. It is false because we can see the, we can compare the relative ages of rocks only, not the actual. What can we do to compare the hardness of a rock? Do a scratch test, hit the rocks, drop the rocks, place the rocks in acid. Which one is the correct answer? A. A. Do a scratch test. Which processes, processes means plural, cause igneous rocks to become sediments? What's your answer? A and D. A and D, very good. Weathering and erosion. Always tandem, partner always, weathering and erosion. What about this? Zan finds many fossils of marine mollusks in a desert as shown below. Which of the following are most likely to be true? The fossils are of dead plants. The fossils are of dead animals. The area was likely to have been a jungle or the area was likely to have been a sea. 
to correct. I'm sorry. B and D. B and D. Don Rapon said. Letter B and letter D is the are the correct answers. Study the picture below. Which rock layer contains the oldest fossil? X, Y, or Z? Z. Okay. Easy, right? Easy. Now, let's proceed here. Explain your answer. Ay, ay, ay. You need to explain. And I copy this question on the Google form as well. Why do you think that in uh, layer Z is the oldest fossil? Why? Why not X? Why not Y? Why it is layer Z? It is the lowest. Because it's the lowest? Okay, what about Jirayu? Because it's the, in the bottom. <laughs> okay, so the answer here, I write my answer here. If you want to copy, you can. If you want to memorize only, up to you. The older the fossil, the deeper it will be, okay? Oh, it's there in my room. They're working now on my room. So the something like doo -doo -doo -doo. it's very near to me see yay, yay. okay like there's an earthquake happening okay let's do it quick we only have two minutes what is a fossil and how it is formed what is a fossil again can you tell me what is a fossil a fossil is a what yes jirayu a fossil is a remain or fossils are, yeah? Go ahead, Nataya. Do you want to answer? Remain of ancient plant animal. How is it formed? How is it formed? Okay. You need to read your book again. How is it formed? Can you, I think you can explain this one based on your own idea or your own words, not just by reading, right? Because you study it in your Thai science and you studied it with me forever, for a 100 years already, I think. It's been a long time since we studied this. So fossil are the remains of ancient plants and animals. They are formed from, from what? Or they are formed when? The, when the plants and animals. and animals die and what happened? Die and and what? Some animals and plants die also, but they will not become a fossil. How? The only animals and plants that will become a fossil is that when they die and they are what? They will be trapped. No, they will be trapped. Here we have a layer here of sediment. Where's my okay there? And then they put the dead animals and then put another layer. So it means in English we can say it when animals die and get trapped between layers. So I will repeat fossils are the remains of plants and animals. It happens when they are trapped between layers. That's the simplest answer that I can give you. Please remember. Okay, so uh, here on this picture, in layer X, we can see there the head of a dinosaur and all of that. Now, a scientist finds fossil on three different rocks. We have fossil A, fossil B, and fossil C. Which layer of rocks in picture A, this is picture A, uh, uh, is about the same age as the rocks found in the, by the scientists. Layer, it should be in layer? Yes. Layer X, very good. Okay, water enters the rock through a crack. Okay, this one means you need to write your answer. Water enters the rock through a crack. Explain how the water can cause the rock to break into pieces. So I'll just show you the answers here. When water freezes, it expands and the cracks widens. 
when the ice melts, it contracts and the water goes deeper into the crack. The repeated expansion and contraction causes the crack to widen until it splits the rock apart. Okay? So those are the things that you're going to answer. There's another one here. Describe how pieces of metamorphic rock can form a sedimentary rock. Of course, because of the weathering and erosion, there will be the process of deposition. And then over time, the weight of the sediment layers at the top squeeze at the bottom of the rock layers to form a sedimentary rock. Okay? There's a lot of questions here, but I will not, uh, we don't have time anymore. What about this one? Yeah, because I think I included this in the Google uh, form. Study the diagram of the rock cycle below. Which of the following involves only weathering? One and two, one and two, letter B, two and three, two and three, letter C, three and four, which three and four, or one and three, one and three. What's your answer? What's your answer? Come on. One. Weathering. One and? Three. Okay, one and three. Okay, letter D. Okay, and uh, yeah. There's a lot of questions, but I think you can. Uh... Now, for your homework, everybody, I want you to answer this. I think it is found in page 110, right? That will be your homework because we don't have time. Page 110 will be your homework, and uh, I'm sure you can finish this one uh, easier. And then uh, maybe I will ask you to uh, wait, what is this? I will probably uh, what is this? Check this next time. Okay, so I will end right here, and I will Stop the recording. Thank you, everybody.